Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Papa TV Live. This is live pinball television. My name's John Replogo. I'm here in the booth with Evan Bookbinder. Hello, Evan. Hey, John. And I'm here with Fred Cochran. Hi, John. How you doing, Fred? I'm great, John. <laughs> and we are going to play Adam's Family tonight. We are also going to play Algar tonight. So... Let's talk about first the uh, big news in the world of competitive pinball. We have a new player for the first time at rank number one. Who is that? That's not you, John. It's Raymond Davidson. Of course it's not me. <laughs> Never will I reach rank number uh, one. Congratulations to Raymond Davidson. I know he's been uh, pretty much lights out for the last couple of years and uh, playing oh, insanely yeah. well. Oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, big, uh, big props to him for being number one in the, in the world now. Look at that. It, it's got to feel good to be up there. And uh, notably, Chris and uh, I have fallen off of the top 25. We have fallen into the deep, dark hole of despair of pinball apathy. I don't know. What's, what, what happens below top 25? I don't know. Yeah, I'm always below top 25, so I know exactly what happens. No recognition whatsoever. Is it pinball apathy? It's, uh, it's I don't know. It's like purgatory. So, Evan, um, in Pittsburgh, it's been cold. Is... Ha, <laughs> I, I, I apologize for going direct for it. I wonder why forward. you're asking me this. <laughs> it, it, are we like at some sort of record uh, temperatures here? No. Unfortunately, uh, all of this is, is for naught as far as the, uh, the record books are. We're not even we close, are, right? Well, the one record we are at is a record precipitation to date. How much rain and snow we've had to date is a record. Tell me more. Actually, I'll tell you a little bit more. You know what? Since we have a record of uh, rainfall, it actually contributed to the collapse of one of our <laughs> major road arteries, and they attributed part of that to the road collapsing here in Pittsburgh. That is true. That's true. Like, on our way out to where we're playing pinball for uh, Pittsburgh Pinball League, uh, a, a road just decided to slide down the hill, and you can see pictures of it online. It's Route 30, and... Uh, it's uh, gone. It's, it's pretty much gone. It's gone. Yeah, a nice section of it uh, is slid down the hill, took out some houses. Thankfully, nobody was injured. I'm sure everybody who's listening to us is like, what are you guys talking about? Check out WTAE.com. It'll give you some great aerial photos of it. Before it, we get started, I'd like to mention sorry. we have a uh, sponsor. That's uh, Path of Play. And Path of Play is a wonderful charity that is dedicated to getting people to improve their interaction and you can find more ab information about out about this, and you can also donate. If you donate under the Papa team, we will get you a T-shirt. And uh, I can't remember all the details to that, but I feel horrible for. I think it's the fifty dollar level that. Uh, That's right. Thank you. That Thank Mike you. Primo will uh, give you a Path of Prey T-shirt, and we match that with uh, a, a shirt from the Papa inventory. So, two T-shirts, fifty bucks. Join the Papa team. And, and more get a free T-shirt. Yeah, and more importantly, it's uh, for a great cause, obviously. Absolutely. Um, you know, T-shirts are cool and everything like that, but it, uh, it, it'll, it'll help uh, hopefully, you know, uh, get some research towards um, that affliction. So Adam's family, Fred, uh, I, I know we got some uh, – we, we, we've been putting together these things called the keys to the game where we give uh, three key points about the game. I, I, I see you have those ready to go. Why don't you give us the keys to the game for Adam's family? All right, sure, no problem. Uh, room service. Uh, shoot the chair or swamp to start modes and shoot any ramp to relight the mode starts. Go tour the mansion, and you'll see the mansion rooms down on the uh, middle of the play field above uh, Fester's head. Second, greed is good. Collecting greed letters from the back or the bookcase lights multi-ball locks, which in turn leads to scoring. And third, until death do its part. Most modes pay out until bonus, so do not tilt. That's one of the things about these games that you will forget in the heat of the moment, mm -hmm. and you get uh, you know you get some pretty sizable bonus in this game, and you just got to be careful. It's kind of like the Powerball mania in uh, Twilight Zone. Yeah, I was gonna say like raise our hands. How many of us have uh, kissed away a hundred million bonus on Twilight Zone before? <laughs> I potentially uh, I tilted away a tournament last night, probably. Yeah, it's Chris and I played a game this right before that. We put up uh, the score that's currently on the screen and toured the mansion and uh, took down Jake Kolodziejczyk, who actually had a good game for a change. So, well, <laughs> thank you for the keys to the game. First up on the player field is Chris Stevens, not ranked in the top 25. That's all right, neither am not I. Yet. But I'm coming for you, though. He <laughs> is the five-time Pittsburgh Pinball League champion. Yeah. 
and the current champion, as a matter of fact. Congratulations. Yeah. The last two, actually. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's Coach very humble. Correct you there. <laughs> he's having, very humble too. Having to draw Chris in the first and second rounds at uh, league finals last week, it was a uh, a good learning experience. I will say. I'm going to guess that didn't end uh, didn't end well. After the first the, round after actually the, round. the first round ended really well. Um, not to say it's nice to see Chris falter, but uh, it was pretty much a rare. No, it's sight good. It's to, actually uh, fun to see him do that sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. And, I, and the second round was a, a weird mathematical uh, combination where I ended up with uh, an eight, in which in our scoring for a round usually will let you advance, but uh, I suffered the one mathematical combination where that wasn't possible. So oh my nice. goodness! This game uh, it's making them work. Yeah, if you've watched uh, our broadcast over the past few weeks, you've noticed that. Uh, the slings on these games have been set pretty tight, and this game has some really weird shots. Like normally, shooting the the center ramp from the left flipper is a piece of cake. On this one, it's um, not quite that easy. And shooting the chair is uh, we have two fat posts underneath that chair, so and doing a cliffy protector yeah, and a cliffy. So doing ramp and then chair all day, uh, not going to happen on this one. So it looked like Chris was going for the multiball strategy. Let's see what Aton decides to pursue. So, uh, again, getting the, the multi-ball or the uh, the lock slit, you want to shoot the bookcase, which Aton just did. Oh, my. And Quick. Uh, that was a painful sling drain. And got his R. Now, the one thing about Adam's family, if you're just playing for fun, if you want to uh, get a little uh, upset and then tilt the ball while you're playing, you get an extra letter for greed that will uh, actually go towards your multi-ball. Which, in that case, probably would have been beneficial since essentially no bonus had been built up by Aton. Oh, C correct. Oh. Yeah, you always want to, again, be mindful of your bonus because uh, that greed letter is probably not nearly as valuable as a, a good mamushka or uh, or cousin it. So. I like Jason, Jake's patience there. He uh, let that come to a full cradle before uh, breaking the uh, chair shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, he was playing this before uh, we went on air we and not uh, getting a feel for the game and put up a respectable 150 on this one. And, again, Chris and I came along and crushed his hopes and dreams and put up 250 and toured the mansion, so. Um, I just want to keep on reminding people of that uh, through the course of the evening. Hey, Fred. Yes, John. Those who can't do, talk about it. Well, we just did it, John. So I didn't see it. It did happen. It didn't happen. Oh, it happened. We, you were mad in our pre-production meeting. We were touring the mansion. You told me to stop playing. That's true. So, so I did say let's stop talk playing. about touring the mansion. And there are at, uh, 12 different modes uh, that are part of the house, essentially, at the bottom of the play field. Jake's already collected the hit cousin it mode. Now he's on to the mamushka mode. And as you advance uh, through those modes, which are again lit by hitting either ramp shot, just like that, and either putting the ball in the uh, chair, not which, there, uh, not Jake the had done twice, or there is kind of a hidden scoop uh, under the right ramp there that'll also start modes. Under, uh, you mean uh, actually below the right flipper? The swamp. Yes, shot. but you've got to get it in the scoop on the front end there. I think you can right. get it on both, can't you? No. You, you can't do it on both? I thought you could. I mean, well, you can do it on the E of grave, which is the swamp shot, and you can also do it on the chair. Okay. Right. That's the two places you can do it. All right. But you can't do it from the upper entrance to the swamp. So there are 12 modes, and if you progress through all of those, actually there's technically 11, because I think if you get the 6 million, it also spots you the 3. Or um, 9 will spot you the 6. Or three will spot you the nine, which is the absolute worst circumstance. Right. But at the top of the house, up in the attic, which is really tough to see on the broadcast, there's a little unlit question mark. And that is the Tour of the Mansion shot, which I will not ruin for those who haven't seen it in the hopes uh, we get there this evening. Yeah, shooting the the uh, the scoop, like I said, from the, the left flipper, normally safest is backhand. But um, it's it's a really tricky shot on this one, and live shots are really not advised on this because, again, we have big posts and the cliffy on there, so lots of rejects and out outlane greens because of it. So Chris did something really interesting there. I don't know if you guys caught that, which was uh, the ball coming to the mini left thing flipper. Opted not to flip that across the play field uh, into the swamp, which gives you a pretty decent award of five times the current graveyard but instead held that flipper up and let the ball come out pretty I, cleanly to the uh, left flipper there. Yeah, I saw uh, Pete do that on a previous ball. Uh, 
And that's sort of a high-end technique because you don't want to do side-to-side -side motion on this game. And sometimes uh, shooting for that shot, well, it induces side-to-side -side motion. We'd like to mention the magnets are off on this game because of Chris. It's my fault. I'm Literally, sorry. it is because of Chris. It ha what it happened in uh, Colorado, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was actually my uh, my first ever IFPA national championship, and it was uh, mine too. Th the round of eight, and I was playing against Zach Sharp, and I sweeped him four nil. And can't played, do that every day. Played, yeah, can't do that again probably. So because of the magnet. It was a good feeling. The Chris Stevens rule. Oh, look at that. That Turned was close. The off. I thought he burned up the magnet. No, that's somebody else you're thinking <laughs> of. <laughs> we won't go there either. No, we're not going to go there. <laughs> now, um, now you've done it. The game that Chris had uh, in Colorado on this lasted probably an hour <laughs> and 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, both him and Zach had amazing games, and they both played really well. Nice live catch. All right, okay. so, so uh, what, do we, what do we want to do during multi-ball? Not John? that. Shoot the uh, shoot the jackpots. All right, which is one more valuable than the other, John? One is double, and that was a single. And thanks for feeding me that question. That was a softball. I like this. That's okay. And then, the, the, then what do we want to do to relight the jackpot again so he can just keep continually get big points? Shoot the red blinking light, which is on the bookcase shot. So instead of red meaning stop, he, that red means go. That red means go. All right. right. Sweet. So. And the value of that jackpot, uh, again, which can be doubled, is uh -oh. ooh, nice. Is yeah. built up by hitting the bookcase so itself, I'm, that I'm big blue thing in the upper right part of the play field. Sorry about that, Evan. Uh, the one thing I wanted to say, when, when Chris uses that flipper as a guide again, it doesn't always work like clockwork. And you saw that he got double danger because he had to make a, a pretty good slide save on that. Right. Because depending on the speed and sometimes just the way the ball comes out of that little uh, outcove there, it can go right down the middle, too, so you have to be really careful when you try that maneuver. I'll tell you, the way the ball's coming out of the chair is pretty inconsistent, too. You got the you got the easy dead bounce on the first one. I had to fight the uh There we go. Uh, All right, so hey, any multi ball is a good multi ball. That's what I always say. Right, so Very true. So when you have a thing multi ball that's counted down to 3 million points, it doesn't increase whenever you hook the bookcase like the uh, quick multi ball does. That is correct. So... At this point, Chris is going to want to adapt a different strategy. He's going to want to use this to probably build up his million-plus ramp would be my suggestion. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, because the multi-ball jackpot itself is not worth a lot of points. Right. So there's two. But million-plus yes. is worth an increasing amount of points. And million-plus is simply a incremental counter that's oh, yeah. built up on the side ramp uh, that resets each ball. Yeah, as long as you're accurate with that shot, you... Probably get it back on a flipper, but um, no guarantees. But uh, it's certainly a safer shot than trying to shoot at the bookcase, which can be uh, a little bit dicey. That was an interesting protective shot with the mini flipper. I, I don't know if I would have done it or not. Probably not. But um, it, it actually worked out really well. So well, That's why he's a state champ, John, and you're not. That's That could be the reason, because he knows how to use the mini flipper on Adam's family better is, than me. That is correct. And even though that wasn't at the state championships, it still had something to do with it. So for the second multi-ball, you can only get the lock by hitting the bookcase. The other uh, shot up the ramp where the lock was lit the first time is actually now lit for a yellow shot, which is? The thing on the back glass, you'll see it flashing. And uh, the first time you collect that, it's worth uh, f five, million. Five, million. five million. And then if you have the stars, it's worth more. It's worth five million for each additional star. Then how do you get stars, John? You sh get stars by shooting a combo. You shoot the advance, uh, the through the pop bumpers to the ramp. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a Picard maneuver, kind of in a weird way. It's hard to shoot Long through the pop bumpers, but it's 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 essentially the same shot, though. It's a Picard maneuver a year before Picard, Picard maneuver. That's sort of easy weird. for you to say. It wasn't that easy, actually. I messed it up pretty bad. <laughs> I thought you were speaking French over there. So the, the one thing, part of that uh, we didn't talk about is how you get thing spelled. And so to start the game, uh, factory settings the t h and i are spotted as they are for aton hitting that left ramp is not only the million plus counter advancer but it also is what spots a letter toward thing nice. so two side ramps and he will have that center small mini ramp there lit yellow for that Ooh. five million nice save that was a lot of grave yeah it was that's that's the one thing like whenever you get mamushka or uh 
or it, man. I like shooting into the graveyard for points because you can get some huge points by shooting, especially with the pop bumpers being as lively as they oh, are. Oh no! Uh, I think he bounced Raise that the out. Dead is actually amazing points if you can get it. If it had done what it just did for him there, he would have scored 20 million points in right. Raise the Dead. Right. What could have been? Well, sorry. And so, uh, wrong order. I think one of the strategies, if Raise the Dead is the next uh, mansion award, it's probably a good time to get your multi ball locks. So ah, you can put there a, you go. Call. That's, that's, call. That's, put that's, a ball right. on the plunger and kind of fire it in there and hope for the best. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not nearly as uh, dangerous, and that was unfortunate right there. It's not nearly as dangerous as letting the ball come out of the pops on Twilight Zone, which is, you know, a 50-50 proposition. You, you, you'll probably survive on this one, but... It's you higher gotta, probability. You have a flipper to help you, But it will, throw you <laughs> it will throw it out of those pop bumpers and just right down the middle on you from time to time, too. So Here comes the thing. There goes Pete with the walking hand, 5 million. The thing I have seen, though, is on, on some of these, if you hard plunge it too hard, it'll go right through the pops without hitting yes. any of them right down the center drain. So... So there's one fact about uh, Adam's family that we haven't talked about yet. What's and, that? Um, this is the best-selling pinball machine, production pinball machine, other than one back in the 50s. Right. Sold what, 21,000 units? 21, 22,000? Is that the right number? That sound, uh, uh, I, I, I can't remember the exact number anymore. I'm, uh, I'm blanking on it. But it, that sounds about right. It's either twenty-two or eighteen thousand. I think uh, I can't remember exactly which it is. So it's pretty close. Yeah. And uh, the the second most modern game was uh, Lawler's next game, which was Twilight uh, Twilight Zone. Oh, nice. I didn't know. I don't know what the numbers are for that, but uh, that was like thirteen thousand, I think. Okay. And then there was a lot. Really close to that 13,000 mark from the uh, mid-90s period in the Great Pinball Revival. Okay. We uh, we just saw, I was, we just tuned into the chat room, and the description of our room is uh, is not correct, but uh, you guys are here, and that's all that matters. Oh, boy. Wow. It's like there's a That was a quick magnet. multi ball, Pete. <laughs> and it wasn't quick. Was it quick multi ball? It, it was quick. It was so quick you missed it. But was it literally quick multi ball? Because then it lived up to its name completely. Quick multi ball. It, it was very quick multi ball. All right, very quick multi ball. <laughs> I didn't know there was a variation. All, All right. right. So you see, if Chris will, uh, if Chris plunges the scoop, he'll get his skill shot. So that is and, and he'll get his out. five thousand. So that's ten thousand points just for plunging the ball, or ten, 10 million, million points. Ten million. Ten thousand. I thought I was playing an EM here. Uh, ten million points just for plunging. So. And then uh, Cousin It Cousin is doing his, uh, he just got knocked out. So um, knock him. Right in that can knock her. And uh, what's he going to do here? We got uh, wow, three million, million off the swamp. Three million. Nice job. Ugh. So, Fred, have you booked any of your rooms for uh, the trip to Canada yet? No, I have not, actually. It's funny. Uh, I was actually going to talk to you offline about that. <laughs> but... Uh, this is your first. This is your first one, right? First, first trip for the IFPAs. I'm. Uh, it was one of my pinball bucket list things. It sounds kind of weird to say I had a bucket list thing, but that was one of the things that I wanted to accomplish. Playing pinball was uh, to be able to make it to uh, to the IFPAs, and fortunately this year I was able to. Well, congratulations on uh, making it. We're, I'm looking forward to playing against you there. I'm looking forward to it as well. You know, with uh, with Papa not happening uh, to this point, it's. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great it's going to be a great event because all the top players in the world, all well, 64 of the top players in the world will be there anyways. Evan, I, I believe you just looked up some important information for us. Well, I'd, I'd lie if I said I looked it up. I was handed uh, some some useful statistics. So our production team is that effective? They are good. They are good. Not like uh, Elias baseball, but pretty up there. So <laughs> what we have uh, learned here is uh, Adam's family production was uh, 20,270 units. There's actually a way to find that number out just by playing pinball. What? What is it? What is that way? Believe it or not, literally. Literally, if you play. That was a good pun. Ripley's Believe It or Not Pinball. Uh, there's an auditorium award, which gives you random facts about things across the world, and one of those is that 20,270 units of Adams Family were produced, which I always thought was interesting because you referenced a competitor company's uh, well, manufacturing record, but. Uh, the competitor um, 
the competitor was currently not producing pinball games at that point, and That's still true. not. So they're done. But uh, that piece of fact will give you uh, two and change million points in Ripley's Believe It or Not. Do you? I mean, I got a question, Evan. Do you think there will ever come a day in our lives when we will see games being made again under the Williams and Bally names? Well. I think they, they are right now in, in kind of a roundabout context with Chicago gaming remaking games from that era. So oh, you're had, talking about the, the uh, Medieval from, Madness yeah. and Attack from Mars and who knows what's coming up next. I think we all have a pretty strong guess and I hope it's correct, but uh, I, I think that's probably where it's going to stay. Um, I don't know if you'd ever see a rebirth in that company. Um, that being said, I, I don't know if I'm the only one who felt this way, but I did nice get a shot, chance Aton. to. <laughs> indeed, that was a nice shot. I did get a chance to play the Big Lebowski. We had that at uh, Replay FX two years ago, uh, right. a sample copy, and I thought that game felt the most like what a Bally Williams game would have become if they had kept going. And I, I'm not sure why, if it was the parts that were used or the look and feel of it, the inserts, that sort of thing. But Ouch. That was that's just my take Aton. on it. What a happened? Aton started the multi ball actually the hard way. He shot the bookcase. Uh, quick, I know. That quick, was impressive. Quickly drained, restarted, and then quickly drained again. <laughs> and you know what his prize for all that hard work is going to be? He gets to go have some pizza. He's well, that's a good prize. He might finish. A very good uh, prize. I I always love it when uh, you know I get pizza. <laughs> well, there is pizza here, John. So you know, I just want to mention I was watching the uh, broadcast we did in Chicago recently, Fred. Yes. And guess what we were talking about on the stream, Chicago? Cookies. No, pizza. Probably pizza, yeah. So there, I think there's a special connection for everybody that's out there. I think there's a special earth. Or, uh, uh, what are you trying to say, John? I, You're I hurting my ears right now. There's a connection between pizza and pinball, and it's more than just the, the P, P and the I. I was going to say there's letters involved. Oh, oh, I saw that coming from the top Jake, of the plate. Uh, there was nothing to do about that, Jake. Well, we did end up going to get pizza in Chicago, John. We went to the Giordano's and had uh, a we actually nice. had a thin crust pizza in Chicago. We didn't eat deep dish this time. I, if I did it over again, I'd get the deep dish. Yeah, I think I would too. All right, so Pete Hendricks, especially is there. Oh, it's phenomenal. Oh, it's we've, we've had it several times. We wanted to change it up because we've had deep dish so many times. Well, that's two other ways to mix it up in that city in my mind, which is the Italian beef route and the uh, the hot dog route. So I've always thought of the like the Italian beef as being in New York and like uh, hmm. Philly and, you know, in the East Coast thing. Oh, I think the difference between like a Philly cheesesteak and Chicago Vienna Italian beef are completely different uh, fooded. Yeah, one of the one of the guys in the chat, Cosmic Piggy, said there's too much money in slot machines for never to go back <laughs> to pinball machines, which is actually, you know, probably oh, very, very true. It is true. You're talking about the Bally Williams, Williams and Bally. Yeah, yeah I, I just recently started a job at the casino here in Pittsburgh, and uh, as I was walking down past the machines, I saw a bunch of WMS machines, and I immediately, you know, thought exactly that. I mean... Nice shot, Petey, by the way. I mean, you can produce, you can make a lot of money making a slot machine, but you cannot make a cooler device than a pinball machine, in my book. Like, if you want to live in infamy for your creative uh, inspiration, you make yourself a pinball machine. That was an interesting way to get that there, Pete. That was a nice bang shot off the sling. And it was cool. Kind of like, oh, I hope it goes in there. I called that. I, well, yeah, I heard you say it loud and clear right on the air. We'll have to watch that during the replay. I mean, it, the interaction with slot machines, despite all the lights and bells and whistles of these things now, I mean, heck, no one even pulls the lever anymore. No, they use it as a handle to pick themselves up off the chair if they've been sitting there for three hours. Interesting. I would have actually taken the opportunity to shoot the uh, bookcase there, but Pete's choosing to stay trapped up and controlled. Remember, John, state champion, uh, you are not. That's we have true. Pete and we have Chris, and that is why you are not a state champion. Decision-making. Decision-making. Poor decision making. No, he decided to cradle that up the whole time. He just wants to play with one ball. He's like, I don't even need to. We're just going to switch it up. Oh, my goodness. No. Switch it up the one. <laughs> and then that's going to happen. I think we're going to have to replace that post rubber. He hit it so hard. <laughs> it cracked. It might have cracked the ball in half, too. So we got the high score of 68 million on that game. Um, I don't know who 25 million was. 
I think it might have been Aton. It, uh, it might have been Aton. Uh, I think it, I think Aton beat Jake just by default. We all actually went in with a strategy that game. Chris was going all Maldi ball. Okay. Jake was going all um, chair tour for the tour. I was going all left ramp very poorly, and Aton was just doing what Aton does. And you can he was going for the uh, Aton was going for the uh, collect yeah. bonus. So shot. the real question there is, does Aton even know what his strategy was? <laughs> A uh oh, hang on, a hang on a second. This could, this could be very important. Aton actually wants to talk. Clear the air. I was doing I do best, playing pinball. <laughs> yeah, man. Do that was better. deep. That was deep, deep, uh, thought deep thoughts by Aton Goldman. Not uh, Jack Handy, but there's Chris Stevens. He's the better state champion. You know, I'm not really sure. That <laughs> my came favorite from. deep thoughts by Jack Handy was always the. Let, let me let me do a really poor impression of it, man. If you lose your keys in lava, forget it, man, <laughs> because they're gone. I think that's probably uh, about right. Fuse, that's one fuse way to put to the, the ball in the chair. I was aiming for that. Yeah, slingshot to the chair combo. That's like the Pee Wee Herman answer right there. I meant to do that. All right, so Chris is going to go for 99 bear kicks. He, no, he's not going for 99 bear kicks. He's going to tour the mansion. 99 bear kicks, we'd be on the air till tomorrow morning. Nine and nine six. No way. He's kicks. getting like one every five seconds average here. No, we want we want tour the mansion, Chris. I was going to try Don't a four-way combo. Four-way combo. Four Ooh, combo. I'd like to see oh, that. that's tough. It's, it's very hard. <laughs> I, I can't even get the second leg of it. All right, so uh, are you going to post pass for it? There it is. There's, a po there's one. There's one. one. Through the pops. Oh, nope. Man. Start over. That's not good. There's multiple four-way combos, Chris. Really? Yep. One will be sufficient. Really? Even I didn't know that. Uh-oh. This game's not level. It's a magnet. It's like a piece of the magnet. It's just like hanging there. That's better. There it is. <laughs> it's the magnet that Chris disabled. He melted the game. All right. Here we go. That's, okay. that's not that's it. That's .5. That's not a shot in the four-way combo. <laughs> <laughs> but extra ball, extra take it. Lit. Take it. Take oh, come it? on. Go to, go mansions, man. Mansions. Oh, man. I can't make that shot. No. See, that, that clip I learned one thing. When you try to make three different oh my shots gosh. at the same time, you make none of them. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not state champion. I make, I make bad decisions. Yeah, I mean, the mansion is really a tough game shot on this particular game, yeah, so touring I, the mansion is going to be tough. I, I had no problem with it. I had no problem with it when I toured it. Well, I'm going to no go. Problem. I'm going to go do it for us at, no, after I get no, off the mic. You're not going to. Just like you did end of the line really well. Oh, gosh. Let's not talk <laughs> yeah, about that. That was fantastic. That that was one of the... Uh, that should have been the end of the broadcast, which is what we should have done. <laughs> that could have end of Papa TV live. <laughs> so get this. So I, I went home after that broadcast and attempted it several times throughout the week. Oh. Wouldn't you know? Now get that the that thing lit ball three after all that no work. No way. And I have pictures of it and bricked it. Oh, no, you did not. I did, too. That's unfortunate. Aton Goldman. Here we he go. plays pinball. With I, no strategy. No, I have one now. I'm going for the lurch strategy. Lurch strategy. The could lurch you, could strategy. you please enlighten us on that? Actually, you know what? Don't. <laughs> you'll, you'll see it. It, watch. Why? Oh. You're playing a, the wrong game if you're going for the lurch strategy, then. Just spell grave all day. You got the A spotted. <laughs> the Bowen Karen's game? tournament strategy. Spell grave for victory. Wasn't lurch in the in the monsters? No, lurch was. I the thought monsters. I didn't know. I don't. Ooh, I didn't nice know. nudge. I thought he was in the monsters. I don't know. Well, I mean, that would be an interesting Adams Family strategy. Imposter. <laughs> <laughs> what game Look has out. imposter? Oh. Somebody has imposter. What game is that? There's uh, imposter. What the heck was that? I don't know. Was that the X-Men? X-Men has imposter, maybe? Oh, almost. Somebody does. Judge Dredd, maybe? Judge Dredd. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Judge Dredd, the yeah. imposter. It's the guy that uh, goes back and forth on yeah, the okay. drop targets. Oh, so, uh, this is true. We didn't mention this. Jake, what, Jake is uh, the Osaka Pinball Showdown champion. He went over to uh, Japan and um, he basically walked all over everybody and won, won the championship, brought a championship back to the United States. 
You know what? Chris just corrected me. I, I, Judge Dredd is bad impersonator, not imposter. Uh, oh. That's right. Imposter is back. Da Batman Dark Knight. That's right. You can see how educated we are in our pinball uh, our knowledge here. Uh, Mr. I am the law. Mr. I am the darkness. I don't, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> yeah, just, Justin good. chimes in on the chat. He says there's a civil disturbance, in, and that's us with mis misinformation. That's the civil disturbance here. It's true, Justin. We, we are a civil disturbance. We but should make a disclaimer at the beginning. Three years for bad information. <laughs> right, right. We should make a disclaimer at the beginning of the broadcast that we're not responsible for misinformation <laughs> given during the broadcast because we do it so. Oh, wow. wow. That's wow. going to go. Uh, okay, Pete, now you gotta, we got to readjust it. Our producers. Nah, no, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Pete got a greed letter out of that. And 105,020 <laughs> points. Pete <laughs> is going to get beat down by our producer, James Coons. And uh, I'm pretty sure when we have the red band come up again, it's going to say that James Coons is going to beat up Pete for uh, moving the camera. A skill shot would have given Chris a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I missed. Instead, he takes a train wreck because nothing can go wrong when you do a train That's wreck. That's gone. No, it ain't. Oh, oh backdoor extra ball. Well, you don't see that shot every day, folks. <laughs> Only on Papa TV Live and when a complete amateur plays. <laughs> I was at the bowling alley a couple weeks ago, and I saw it. The other thing you notice with the top-down perspective of this camera is uh, Thing hasn't washed his hands in a really long time. Yeah, Dan Hall talks about cleaning up the games uh, really well, but uh, he did not clean with lava. With lava? No, yeah, lava. because if you clean with lava, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> That's true. You're right. I, I should have seen that coming. It's right like there. a lava. Magic eraser. <laughs> <Magic eraser. laughs> kind of reminds me of Pulp Fiction. If I wash your hands with lava. And that's all I can say about that scene because the rest of it's vulgar. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Swamp Millions, 2 million uh, points. And Chris is still. Oh, my gosh. Chris is. Chris is creating side-to-side -side motion. Chris is doing a really good job of missing the, the, the electric chair and creating good visuals. Oh, good grief. Don't do that anymore. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're making me sweat. Wow. Hey, oh. oh, nailed it. Now I've done it. Right? Now he's it's done okay. it. It's okay. So, Evan, what do you call that? What, what type of thunderstorm is that when the lightning comes down and destroys a multi-ball? <laughs> I, that's why I love this game. I mean, any game that involves weather in any capacity, especially thunderstorms. I mean, Pat Lawler, he just he reads my mind. But, uh, what, what, uh, you know, lightning that destroys buildings and stuff is probably something that's uh, far-fetched. What's your favorite weather-related weather, uh, weather -related game? Oh, my gosh. Well, the first game I ever bought was Whirlwind, um, okay. naturally. naturally. Storm, storm sure. chase theme. But uh, I got to tell you, bringing back all the old favorites subtly dialed in is probably my new. Oh yeah, it's it's a wonderful sort of quasi weather related game, at least in several of the modes. That is it dialed in is my favorite Jersey Jack so far. Least weather themed favorite weather themed game is definitely uh, Sega Twister. Oh, I actually, I gotta say, I like I have a soft spot in my heart. For I that. have a play field on the wall because I love the artwork, but I the game is just a repetitive. Boring mess for me, anyways. I mean, I so wanted that movie to be absolutely awesome. <laughs> Didn't we all? <laughs> it's true. There are flying cows. We back here? All right, there we go. I was shut off. Imagine that. Somebody could turn off my voice. We have the power. We have the power to stop you. You guys so don't use it far uh, enough at all. <laughs> I know. We, we need to use that power more often. All right. So you want to wait for the multi-ball to time out? Ugh. Okay. And then, and then light and then, the, and uh, then the relight. And then brick the ramp. And then... Get in there. Oh, that was close. I want you to make the shot into the scoop the same way you got the extra ball, Chris. I'll give you 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks? That's on the line. He chooses not to take the $10, but he does take the thing multi-ball. So the thing multi-ball is a two-ball restart if you haven't gotten a jackpot on the first multi-ball. So, so you can get a free skill shot out of it. You get a free skill shot out of it. And, and more set up side ramp, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's more important. Here we go. Boom. Double, uh, was that 30, 28, something like that? It's 28. 28. Love that sound. 
Oh yeah, the sound effects in this game. There's a reason why this game sold so many units. Oh yeah. And like we always talk about adding good subwoofers to some of the new uh, rock theme games like Metallica, oh, sure. AC/DC, but this game, heck yeah. Just that that multi-ball call out and the jackpot call out are I mean, phenomenal. You know, as much as I love everything about this game, I've owned four of them and I could not get them out of my house quick enough. I, for whatever reason, uh, whoa. <laughs> that whoa. was an awesome relight. You like that? Yeah, I did. Ten bucks, Fred. I want Chris to try something No, dude, here. I'm not <laughs> paying no, you ten bucks for something you, you just did. You didn't do it when I called it. Uh, what, it do you want, what do you want me to try? So, I want you to, I want you to try to get happen. a jackpot. I've had this happen twice, that if you chase two balls quickly up the center ramp, it will trick the game into counting one as a side super jackpot. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That's actually been done in high-level tournament play where people have uh, tricked the super jackpot, which is really cool. You kind of almost got to be able to backhand the – it's it's like a quick one, I think one it's, it would have been quicker than that, Chris, for it to work. Well, he didn't make it up there the second time regardless, <laughs> so it didn't fell matter. fell off of the habit trail and went into the swamp. Well, I mean, something mm. – don't you just want to go to your swamp? That's Shrek. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I did that. That's gone. Yeah, you did. I did that. Yeah, Lord uh. Squeak. Lord Squeak on the chat says Stern Dracula. What? Yeah, again, uh, our description for our episode tonight is incorrect. Yeah, we did Dracula last week. We are not playing Dracula again, thank goodness. You can see me redeem my end of the line performance at the end of the night on Dracula. Actually, the first time you tried to get the special, you blew it terribly. <laughs> it was awful. Thanks, you Brent. tried to shats it. It hit the post. It went down the middle, and you got nothing. Hey. And yeah, and then we went off air, and then I finally found it in three consecutive shots. <laughs> like, what happens? What happened, uh, Chris? What's going on here? Yeah, what are you trying to do now? So that you broke the magnet and you broke the game. It's stuck in the swamp. Ball search. Tech. Tech. Tilt it. Pete, Tilt Pete is a uh, official tournament director for many tournaments, and he. Uh, Fixes games the way they're supposed to be fixed. You pound on them. Instead of getting the key and opening them, you beat on them. So why are all the uh, um, uh, pop umbers flashing? Can somebody well, explain for another that? second or so. Well, yeah. why were they flashing? I have no idea. That's a good question. I know why the f they flash on uh, Funhouse. Because they're worth more. That's right. Because the grave value was very high. So, but what makes them flash? Just hitting them enough times? It, hitting them enough times is one way to do it. Also, uh, getting great value at max is another way of doing it. Right, which is uh, one of the Mansion Awards. This is another one of the situations where Chris is plunging so he can get his super skill shot. And now there's, there's five million, I think, at this point. Yep. Plus the, uh, plus the other five. Plus the other five. So, yeah, just plunging, like I said, if you know the situation of the game and you know that you're going to be able to plunge it and not get any switches, you can, you know, take pot shots at the at the skill shot. Make sure you get your points. See if we can at least get a three-way combo. That's a cool sound effect, too. I want mansions. Tour the mansion. That's not me. Who's doing tour the mansion? Eitan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> if you want something done, Fred, you should do it yourself. I already, I already post catch. Well, do it, do it on stream. I already did. Make it happen. I don't want to play. I do terrible. Oh, there it There's is. There's the combo. Three-way combo. Oh, almost. Oh, that would have been nice. And it's actually worth a significant amount of points. Oh, it's yeah. worth going for it. And it's what, got a cool sound to it, too, when you do five it. Five for the three-way, another ten for the four. Oh, he almost had it. And it falls in for kind of a, <laughs> kind of a three-way. And then if you get things spelled, it's another five million on top of that for each star. My gosh, Chris, you're, you're nailing the. Uh, you're getting your multiplier up. I'm getting there, hopefully. I had a game uh, a number of years ago where I toured. I don't know, twelve times or something like that. That was stupid. That's sick. And I actually uh, got to the point the where the most important shot was me making a bear kick ramp and shooting the multiplier because my bonus was like, you know, like 
five hundred million or something like that. So yeah, they're, 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 just kind of give you an idea of what happened at that. There was a tournament going on, and the entire playoffs went all the way through, and John was still playing a game of Adam's Family. That's because I got knocked out and I was mad. <laughs> he played. He must have played. It was probably two and a half hours. Two and a half hour game. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was obscene. But. I mean, there's enough extra balls available in this game right. that if you keep touring the mansion, you're going to uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of extra balls. I can't tell you right. how many. Right, you should I had. earn more than you spend. Well, I mean, as long as you earn as many as you spend, you're in good shape. There's a, there's an Adams family on the uh, south side of Pittsburgh that tends to to do that. See, Chris, you need to go for mansions. <laughs> it is like hinting that you need to go for mansions. At some point, he's actually going to get very close, and he might just, oh, look out. At some oh. point, he's going to accidentally start quick multi-ball. <laughs> I mean, at some point, he's going to go for mansions and just brick and drain because, you know, he's like, he's like I'm in the right frame of mind. Oh, come on, Thing. Well, he made it the one time, but it didn't count. See, look at that live shot into the scoop. I mean, why not? This mode is actually highly valuable. Yes. No. So there are. Oh, that's that was a, a rejection. Perhaps that's one. There's three holes. Basically, the ball can be shot into for this mode. Four. First one's worth five mil, then ten mil, then fifteen mil. Four. Once again, four. When you get three, it's done. Yeah, but there's four. Tell them, John. There's four. Where are there four? Electric chair. Yes. The swamp and grave end up in the same switch. Okay. And then the uh, bookcase. Uh-huh. What else? Oh, there's what the, else you're, you're missing one. The out hole? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chris, Chris <laughs> yeah. agrees with me. I agree. <laughs> I mean, we could be just playing a giant uh, practical joke on you, but, I mean, we uh, agree. That would be a pretty funny joke. Oh boy. That would be a pretty funny joke, but that one's not, not worth that any creative, mode points, so. though. There's like seven ways to do it, Evan. Look at this. See, look, look at that. The, and okay. he's, a, he's one ramp away from spotting a mansion. We're we're getting there. Hey, settle. Oh, I'd play this out. No magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, just do that all day long, right there. Boom. That okay. should spot a mansion, and here it is. That's two. That's, That's train, train wreck. wreck. That's trouble. Oh, goodness. Oh, somebody should go for train wreck extra ball. That's another uh, boring strategy. Yeah, so what? Your fourth <laughs> train wreck. Fourth gives train you. wreck. I think it requires, let me see, two plus three plus four plus five Ugh. hits yeah, to that. Yeah, uh, 14 or Good something. Good luck. Like that, yeah. Especially on this one. This one, like, if you hit that, you're, you're in. Your love's in jeopardy, baby. See? Oh. See, that's what you get for not shooting the chair, Chris. Drain. I can't believe he hit what, all like of that. 200, like, next, next time. Look at that Who bonus. says you can't take it with you? My, high, my score's still higher. That's awesome. No, actually, it's not. <laughs> I can't believe he hit all that without <laughs> accidentally starting quick multi-ball. 247 was the score. That what is had. it going to take for you to be impressed, Fred? I don't know. I want to see somebody tour the mansion. Aton, you got I'll this, I'll be buddy. impressed. Aton, tour the mansion right now. That, that's not part of the lurch strategy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. Sorry, Aton. I like this lurch strategy, though. That sounds like... It sounds official, man. I'm. It does. And, and the, you know what the worst part about it is? I don't understand it. Well, it's only Aton. He only, he, he's the only one that can think on that kind of linear level that uh, allows him to do the lurch strategy. You, you think this is linear? Yeah. yeah, there's nothing linear a about it. It's not like a logarithmic. <laughs> multi-dimensional. <laughs> that shot right there was oh. multi-dimensional. So He's almost backhanded it. I'm gonna call it right here. He's gonna shoot the bookcase and get the green light right here. Ah, you missed it. You don't understand the lurch strategy, obviously. Yeah, come on. It involves a lot of missing. I was told. <laughs> wow. That's gone. There it is. Shoot the bookcase and drain. Just what I said you were going to do. You're, you're like a prophet. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> he works at a casino. He is for profit. I am the fountain <laughs> of misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't profit anything except the paycheck every Thanks. week. Thanks. I'm, I'm here until this broadcast is over. 
Thankfully. Which could be soon if we don't get something interesting to say. <laughs> That's why we put you on first, Evan. We got your bad Just jokes out of the way. You and your For those paying attention, I got no mic time last week. I think that was intentional. Well, it's hard to talk over me, so. <laughs> I'm leaving that alone. All right, so Jake's got the mamushka. Every target is worth $250 million. Shoot the graveyard. Thousand. Thousand. Shoot Thousand. the graveyard, Jake. Hey, hey, hey. hey. That's not the graveyard. Nah, he tried. He's trying to listen to me. He's, he's, he's doing something very foolish. Oh, my goodness. He, he's listening to Fred, which is a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I have decided. Yes, it is a very poor decision to follow what I say. That was good. But nice tip over. It's right. calm. Jake's own it's Adams family does that, too, so he knows how that <laughs> move works. All right, what's Jake going to do now? Is he going to do the uh, – has he been the one that's been uh, deemed the – uh, He's just practicing post transfers. It looks like it. Okay, it looks like Mansion, maybe. He's got a long way to go. That why that, that's a way to get that it. Counts. Miss miss the first shot and let it bounce into the hole for the next one. I like that. That's a good strategy. All right. Oh, oh man. There. And there goes that out lane that uh, again sometimes is pretty nasty. I think there's a fourth magnet side. in there. There's something Sucks over there. Sucks the ball over. There's something. So here comes West Virginia champ again with his mighty All right, Petey, with 000. a skill shot, you can, like, multiply your score by 20. I'm going with the Pugsley <laughs> strategy. Oh, so Lewis has a uh, random bit of trivia, and uh, this is a trivia for the chat. And the, the question is, what is the other game that has the Mamushka in it? Oh, I that know which one that awesome is. Awesome trivia question. Ooh, ooh, me. I know. You're not allowed to answer that there, okay. Horshack. No Horshack answering. I wonder how many people listening to chat know who Horshack is. Welcome back, Carter. Google it. It's an awesome the show for The when internet I was a kid. is a wonderful thing. So, uh, wow, so Evan, Evan Bingham shot. actually already answered the question. Mr. Ev Carter, Mr. Carter. Did he really? Evan Bingham guessed Junkyard, and that is 100% correct. That's my boy. So if you if you want to win our grand prize for Papa TV Live, send a check for $100 to John Replogle, and then I will put you in a drawing for $5 with, so, with the answer to that question. So, yeah, Lord Squeak uh, has Junkyard with a question mark. So uh, in order to get Junkyard, uh, well, in order to get Mamushka on Junkyard, you have to light the time machine and then shoot the time machine, start it, and then it gives you a random award, mystery award, uh, it could be um, could be night mission. It could be saucers. It could be um, a couple other ones. But then one of them is Mamushka. I thought there was actually another game with Mamushka in it, and I I, I believe I'm right when I say that there's another game with Mamushka in it besides Junkyard. All right, chat. Let's see if uh, there is another one. Let's see if there's another game that has Mamushka. Although Junkyard was. Uh, the first one I thought of as well. So if, if somebody gets this one right, then you have to send $200 to John. <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> it Actually, it's $200 just to guess. <laughs> you have to make a $200 donation to Path to Play. So where we were where we were raising money for a great charity before, now we are ra raising money for a, a totally just fake charity in John. So please don't send any money to John at all. Giving money me, to me could be considered charity. Oh, uh, the uh, I don't know the dates for this, but Evan uh, has been asking uh, a couple different times. I've been ignoring him in the chat. Well, room, we all but, tend to. Um, Amazing Evan. Race Pinball uh, tournament they're going to have in Columbus. I believe it's in July. I think it's I think it's Is actually it July. Uh, it July? It's much Evan? sooner than that. It's the fifth of May. I want to say. No, it's Evan July. will give us the dates here. E Evan will give us the dates, and we will relay them. So to you. I heard you won this once. I, I did. And uh, it, I, it's a really wonderful event. Um, I heard you said it was easy. I don't think <laughs> I actually said that. He was being very arrogant. I don't think I don't think I would actually say that. I hope I would not actually say that. So for those who don't know, um, Evan Evan is from the Columbus, Ohio uh, area, and the event is indeed uh, the seventh and eighth of July. May fifth is the registration date. Oh, well, okay. So there was something about that date. Yeah, you were full of it. Um, <laughs> so, um, John had won it before, um, and I know a few other people from Pittsburgh, I think, went down there. So, uh, I know that it's at, uh, what is it, um, 
Where's it at? Level one. Level one? Okay. So Looks like a great place. So, not to, like, ruin player two and four scores, but uh, it is possible to score 20 million points in this game without flipping the flippers. Yeah, there was a challenge to do that, as a matter of fact, uh, about a year ago, I believe. And, I remember uh, something about that. And it, it's you have to be very creative. You have to be creative. Um, involves... A whole bunch of skill shots. Well, that, that would make sense. Uh, and a bunch of D intention. Don't give it away. That, don't that, give it okay, away. Okay, fine. Are we going to try it? No, we're not oh. going to try it. But I, I think, I mean, there is footage out there if you want to get your spoiler. But we're not going to do a spoiler okay. on that. I That's think it's fine. a really wonderful uh, thing. So has anybody else guessed uh, the other game oh. that the Mamushka was in? No, they they have totally they, they, just, they, they, just they abandoned that completely. Your negative prize allotment <laughs> was not very enticing. Oh, okay. So very good. I understand. I think John's making it up so he can order to raise more money for himself. So I wonder if Lewis knows the answer. Do you know? So Aton Lurch netted you some uh, 26 million points. Would you consider that a successful game of the uh, Lurch strategy? For the Lurch strategy, is very successful. <laughs> okay. Well, right now you're beating Jake Kolodjaychik, so you know the, the, the strategy is successful so far. And not anymore. Now go up and kick the game and tilt it before he gets points. <laughs> no, don't kick the game. That's the spirit thing. Um, Mark in the chat said uh, maybe a sound clip and scared stiff. John? Ooh, that's actually an interesting actually, I, guess. I, I, that is not the answer I was thinking of, but I'm, I'm wondering if that's true. Yeah, it, I, 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 I kind of, whenever it was said, um, I don't know, there's a scared stiff somewhere around. See if let me go play scared stiff for a couple hours and see if it happens. <laughs> I Just don't I, stop playing it until it happens. I actually so. think that might be correct as well. That's whenever they you go know, through, like it's like it's changing the station, right? Right. And um, that's where it makes the static sound. So my guess, am I allowed to guess? You can you can guess at this point. The fast lock on Twilight Zone, depending on when you collect it, plays music from a whole bin bunch of different Lawler games, and I think the fastest one you get is Mamushka music. Am I right or wrong on that? So maybe it's three. Sean is grinning like He's an idiot. This over look here. Of, that's I mean, not I, what I, I was I, thinking I, of either. Or no, no, no. I, 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 I'm just grinning at you. I'm enjoying this. We have one. We can go fire it up. But. Oh, careful, Pete. That's how he became the, uh, the West Virginia State champ, John. By flipping hard? By flipping hard and then not controlling the ball at all. <laughs> Anybody ever watches Pete play? Um, he just he rarely cradles the ball. And does stuff uh, like that. And he sometimes gets 13 million points on Adam's family because of it. And Aton's uh, lurch strategy beats the state champion. All right. I'm going to go play a game of Adam's family and show oh, you how it's geez. not done. <laughs> All right. So Chris is going to go put up his initials. S. -A I was going to go with sad. Sam. S. A. D. is more like it. S. O. D. Baby. Tour. S O D. <laughs> Cousin it strategy. So I don't know what John's strategy is going to be. Um, John's going to tour the mansion. So and a four X combo. That's kind of like the Tootsie like Roll question. <laughs> yeah, John. John has. I don't know how many games he played before the broadcast, but um, yeah. So he's going to miss several times before he figures out the shots. There goes one miss and another miss right there. Okay. And another miss is going to be coming up. And John Ripple oh. is not a state Somebody champion. Fred off the mic. I can't hey, play so, Fred, <laughs> we you saw you tour the mansion in practice. Do you think you can do it again? Uh, I don't know. I'll try. Get off the mic and let's see it happen. All right, I'll do it. I'll back it up. <laughs> back that some smack talk up. I'll sit here until I'll go fourth. I'll right. sit here. I'll sit here until players one and three go, and then I'll get up. All right. So that way, I'm not sure who's going to be sitting down next to us. We just kicked Evan out of the booth. I think Evan's going to play Adam's family. This is high-level commentary now. Two state champions and Fred. Hello. Yeah, it is. I knew that was happening. Yeah, Lord Squeak, it's okay. I'm not a, I'm, you're, I see you're not a state champion either, and neither am I. So 
I'm sitting at a table, actually, with two state champions. Uh, CD's just, uh, Chris Stevens just uh, joined us. Hello, Chris. I am here. Hello. And Pete is over on the mic now as well. So I'm surrounded by uh, successful pinball players, and I am not one of them. But you're, that's a you're very successful. You've you've rocked classics many a times. I have, especially against me. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm doing okay in classics. The rest of the time, not so much. The second best classics player in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm no longer even the best. It's terrible, but it's okay. It's terrible. All right, so Lewis looks like he's he's going after the mansions with conviction. He's so he's one for one on that ramp shot. I'm very I'm, chair. Yeah, I'm so. very hopeful. Oh. It was tilting. That was a very nice nut. Wow, safe. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to be the John Syndrome shake right there. Once overslept finals. Yes, Lewis. That's a oh, nice that's tidbit. That's a great story <laughs> I tell sometimes. So now he's going to be distracted by James pulling that up. He did. Uh, <laughs> it's it's actually he has something in common with uh, the player to my right here, who unfortunately missed his pinberg round. Oh man, that oh, yeah. that was like the the that was a perfect storm of badness. Just. Me and the group being like, yeah, it starts at 5.30, whatever it was. And then I was playing dialed in and blowing it up. So I was just playing pinball. And I turned my phone off because I was at 2%, so I couldn't check where I was. And before you know it, it's like, oh, I, I, I missed the round. Yeah, that's, that's got to be painful. It, 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 was, it was. It was sad. I just wanted to play pinball. All right. So who's going uh, to take over for me on the mic whenever I, it's player four? Uh, not sure. I will stay here. I'll play pinball and commentate. Yeah, you can you can do both. Yeah, I'll go up to the mic and I'll put the headphones Actually, on. Actually, yeah, you play and John can uh, talk smack to you. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. I this can't back up any of my smack talks, so. So, uh, Evan, <laughs> Evan is not. What are you gonna be uh, showing us besides nothing. the right outline? I'm showing you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I show you nothing. I show you nothing. All right. So Fred's stepping up. And I'm not sure if his goal is just to beat John or no, to he show to, us something. He has to tour the mansion. Yeah, he better I, tour yeah, the mansion. Yeah, I have to tour the mansion. It's it's. I've talked so much smack. Now he he did do it in warm ups. He but did. Now that he's he did it on ball two. The cameras no are on balls. him. He's having a nice swim. All right. Interesting way to shoot this. Oh, he's just going to go for the graveyard strategy. <laughs> One it's million a, at a time. I've been having a lot of trouble trying to shoot the chair from the left flipper. See, and I'm not the only one, obviously. But, man. oh, Lots of brick building there. That was uh, brick, brick, brick. All right. So, uh, John's in second place. <laughs> <laughs> he has two green letters. He earned a free one due to tilting his ball one. In, while the ball was in play. While the ball was in play. We will not flag him. Don't do that. He does have one uh, mansion room done, though. He does. One down, 11 to go. So I'm pretty sure that his uh, his goal here is going to be a post pass to the left flipper. Or, oh, he takes it the good way. I like it. I don't like how it's bouncing out on the backhand. Agreed. I was actually more consistent in shooting the chair, aiming for the orbit, trying to get my four-way combo than I was from the left flipper. There's your post pass. Then he's going to plug this, uh, the ramp there. Very nice. Oh. All right, let's see if he can make All this right, one, though. All right, here we go. Trouble. <laughs> there it goes. There we go. Where'd my ball go? <laughs> I I want to clip that. <laughs> Just John hey, sitting there hey, announcing, okay, here we go. <laughs> Flip drain. <laughs> Just loop it over and over and over. Here we go. Gone. I've played a couple out of his family that had uh, the big, big yellow rubbers uh, sitting on the sides of the chair. And... This one does not have those big yellow rubbers, and I still find it difficult to hit it. Yeah, it's, there's another one on the floor out here that if you miss a little bit to like the left or right, you're dead. Yeah, it's gone. Pretty That's much everything at Papa is just like, set up to drain you. Yeah, kind of like what happened with uh, John there, where he uh, he missed it a little too much, way out of the sweet spot, and then straight back down Thank the you. center. Let's see what Thing no. does. All oh, right. Oh. So thing shooting percentage is way above everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to thank him before he flips. Oh, so I've, I've been doing it, it wrong this whole time. 
He stole his nope. chair lip. He went to go for the multi ball. Very nice. Nice shot. Uh, I have to try to no. pull the Trent Augustine at a uh, PPO trick. Which trick's that? So, uh, back in the uh, 2016 PPO, he was uh, playing Alexander on an Adams family we had. And he notoriously made, I believe, six or, I don't know, it was like seven jackpots in quick multi ball to uh, win the game. That's, he, uh, that's impressive. As, uh, that's Trent. Yeah, that's Trent. <laughs> He, uh, as we all know, lost the series, and oh. there's uh, some good video evidence of that, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, you got six jackpots to go. Well, I still have to get the first one. You only need six. I want that ball to pass over. <laughs> there we uh. go. <laughs> um, uh, Another that chair was bites a chair. the dust. <laughs> that was a chair, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. There's one. Okay, there's one. Nice shot. Sometimes this kick out can hit right just like that, but then that kind of puts it out of uh, That's not too out of control. This one should bounce over. Very nice. Yep. That's a ramp. Which hey, ramps we lead towards we like mansion ramps. rooms and extra balls. I believe it also advances the vault. It does. It uh, increases your jackpot by one million points. Ooh, that is a. Uh, I forgot how sensitive these flippers are. I, I told you they're go. sensitive. Two and a grade. And a train. Now don't forget, you can backhand oh. that vault shot. I can, but do <laughs> I want to? I don't like the extra ball. There you go. Nice forehand. I'm gonna take that extra ball. I think you should. Well, you can always get it on the plunge. I'm taking it now. Don't fool around. You got the shot. Take it. Shoot some more trains. His graveyard held. Maybe he'll go for some uh, pop bumpers to build that up. Oh, nice, nice. reaction. Let's John see Flipper still got it. <laughs> oh, no. thing. Thing, why you do that? No, no, nice no. Shot, nice shot. Nice <laughs> shot. Scores a tunnel hunt shot. Always got to do that. I really like the uh, the replay sound of the knocker on this game for some reason. Oh, the, It uh, just sounds yeah. like it's just pure wood. Like there's something inside the cabinet that tells you you've got a free game. I love it. Like this. That's one. Something's in the game. That's the only one. All right, let's try that again. All right, he's currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away. Raw Julia with a whole pocket full of balls. Bucket full of balls. Oh, oh. <laughs> time for oh, a swim. No you should know better, Lewis. Come on. I know. Had to play, uh, I guess since I was talking about earlier, playing this in Fight Club yesterday, I uh, pretty much survived a game of knockout Beautiful. on skill shots alone. It was like 30, 25, 30 million in skill shots. Like, start multi-ball, do nothing. Um. There's your cherry light. Get, it. Nice. Get over there. Nice. Quick multi-ball, do nothing. <laughs> but, you know, I got all those skill shots. Yeah, right. skill shots are definitely the way to go. I, I Actually, if someone were to select Adam's family against me, I typically choose to go first. Just for the purpose of oh getting the skill shots after locking balls. Does anyone else anyone else feel that way? Because I, I felt like that was a, a clever way for me to kind of get a little bit of a quick leg up. Is choose first, spell greed, lock ball one. And then just Goodbye. hammer off three more skill shots. Well, two more. Well, if I'm playing you, I'm going to assume that you're going to get the multi ball with, before draining, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take four. Right. Uh, I mean, you never know. I've, I've definitely played my fair share of very difficult Adams families. Evan on pace here for 510,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good math. Good math. That's, uh, oh, that's not he's going to double a score right yeah, there, right though. Right here, right here. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's all ours. And he moved the uh, mansion around pitch. to the nine million, and we're dead. Survival. 
Nope. No, that's nope. gone. You're a funny guy. But that's a greed letter. Oh. You're a monster. All right, Fred's not even going to let this settle. He's going to jump right in. All right, Fred, you still got 12 mansion rooms to go. Oh, I got this, man. All right. I got Lewis right where I want him. But do you have John where you want him? What, in front of you and score? <laughs> yes. That's exactly. I feel That's better. That's exactly where you want him to I be. I want to be exactly There's in front no of There's no pressure now. That's right. I mean, no matter what, I doubt you can get a more embarrassing brick than what John did. I was pretty close on mine. I actually hit the same thing. Mine I was, was kind of similar. So. I thought yours was very similar. All right, so I'm going to make one. My goal for this ball is one chair. When it's plugged in? Yes. Oh, it's already plugged in, so if he gets one when it's not, that's going to be impressive. You might not get this ball back. Nah, still blinking. Oh. That's good to know because I thought hitting that switch up top activated your play field. Even though the uh, the music never changed, I, I was kind of nervous yeah, to. Uh, he did it? Yeah, he went over that switch uh, on the very top, and then he let the ball drain, and it still gave him the ball back. Come on, Fred. Nice shot. We're gonna go live shots now. <laughs> it's actually it's it's working. Yeah. Lewis was hitting it live. Uh, John even hit a shot live with it. He backhands the ramp. Let's see if he can make it. No. All right. Joyce, it can be backhanded. Yeah, hey, just like that. Actually, can, <laughs> let's work. just aim for that. <laughs> now, getting the six million before you get the three million will actually award you the three million. So that's a, uh, a two for one special. That's Whoa. one of the. That was almost as bad as John's shot. That was like. That was rough. That was like pinball. You really paid for that. Mission accomplished. You got one chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what he wanted, and he and he got I it. I promised one chair. Oh, that's the neat thing about the collector's edition of this. Um, when you get the uh, three million, it gives you a random room instead of the six million. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Plus, you have all the things. All the uh, gold things. Yeah. Things gold watch. Things golden pinball. Things hairbrush. Let's hair. try, <laughs> this try it again, again John. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my oh gosh. No. Almost the same. Result. Oh no. Oh. Hey, free greed letter. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. End of the line's got nothing on that game. <laughs> oh, man. And the mansion has been toured. <laughs> Looks like Lewis might have to be our saving grace here. We are touring the outlines oh, today. Yeah, we are. Sometimes you're playing only to serve as an example to others, John. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've, we've seen John do this before. His first game will be atrocious. His second game will tour 11 times. Yeah. But that was the finest tilt we've seen tonight. <laughs> oh, my oh. Don't. No. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Nah. <laughs> EB lit. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Now Evan. Evan's got the, got the locks uh, lit on the plunge. I got greed ready. You got the big nine mil ready. Nine million? Get and in it is there. plugged in. Yeah. Nice shot. All right. You can uh, get into this multi-ball. That'll give you a nice feel for the game. Practice your shots. There's a voice in my head telling me the things I need to know. I like this. <laughs> you can right. short plunge this lock. <laughs> you can any plunge this lock. Except long plunge. Okay, Shoot. there you go. I did not want well, to Well, good thinking. Good there. thinking. That's why I don't Oh, no, no, look out. All right, time out the magnets. <laughs> Wait a minute. Real players don't time out magnets. Trick dream. Get in your... Go to your home. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. All right, you get a second chance at this. Uh, that was a third chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was <laughs> fourth chance. Right here. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down. Watch, watch it. Oh. oh, all right. <laughs> that does not start multi-ball. <laughs> that gives you an E in grade. I suck. <laughs> Forehand. Oh, no. he, he's determined. He needs this backhand. I am the worst oh. shot maker in the history of pinball. You do realize there is a second way to start this multi ball from that flipper, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was almost it. <laughs> it's close. A lot closer than your chair shots. Yeah. But it's a, you're ahead Great of John points now. All day, yeah, you're baby. ahead of John. Victory laps. Oh, oh, oh. The struggle is real. 
This is Man, like that was, uh, that was seven or eight. Get in there! Nope. Nine. Again. Okay, maybe Thing will make it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> Thing will make it. He almost oh. did. All right, Fred. Even Rock I, and roll here. Let's even do this. I didn't miss that many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fred. Pressure's on. You need. Pressure's on. I need lots of rooms. Step, I, I think now would be the time to start worrying about extra balls because you're not getting all of them in one. So, yeah, that's bear kicks. Nothing but bear kicks. Bear kicks and backhands. Oh, no, nope. He's gonna show Evan how to do this backhand. Uh -huh. Nope. I kind of want to like <laughs> get a better view oh <laughs> of this. I'm chair. not really sure what I was doing on that one. That was pretty <laughs> interesting, though. That was good. Hey, you made it work. The grave strategy. The grave strategy. It lives. <laughs> All right, on the fly, make it happen. While Fred continues to hit everything <laughs> but mansion rooms, which was your favorite version of the Addams Family? The cartoon, the TV show, the musical, the movie, or the magazine comic? I choose the pinball machine. <laughs> All right, there he goes. He's gonna get his room. All right. Extra, no, beautiful. Hey, you wanted extra balls. Beautiful. I got you extra balls. All right. Well done. All right. That that made me happy. Now you have some insurance. Now find the. Now you still have to make shots. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna break this a few more times, and we'll get it. Okay, aim for the post. There you go. Nice. That's that's you want to aim for the post, and you'll make it in every time, unless you hit your shot, all which right. is the post. That was bad. It's all right. Nice dead bounce over. Very well done. Doesn't want the multi ball apparently. No, we're not. We're not going for the multi ball. We're just we're trying to get these uh, this tour going on. No, no, you can use the multi. Nice shot. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, we're not going for multi ball. It's stupid. But you have two balls to hit that ramp. And build toward the 15 per free mansion rooms. Ah, stupid. Right. I didn't want that. That was dumb. All right, if you don't want it, plunge it off. Let it go. No, go for uh, just go for the ramp and. Uh, well, I already yeah, beat John, so I have no motivation to beat anybody else. Well, get your tunnels. Get the tunnels at least. Oh, that was uh, that would have been some very nice stage flipping there, but uh, no can do. Nice, nice not go. Right. Excellent. There it is. He really has a good chance here to run down uh, Lewis. Yeah, he's yeah. scoring he, some points. He still has two of the bigger scoring uh, mansion rooms left and hasn't even done multi ball yet. Nice random. Ooh. All right, he comes out and his, uh, his next award is thing multi ball. From one multi ball to the next. But I bet he'll tell us that that's stupid as well. No, that oh. was stupid. It was going to go to the right flipper, and it just decided to hit something on there, some mylar or a piece of hair or something. Shoot again. Good man. All right, he beat his record of one chair hit on that last ball. Go oh. oh, well. At least it was entertaining. Everybody. I made a couple shots. That was so. good. You did, and All you right. made a couple of really nice saves as well. All right, we're uh, we're gonna move on over to Algar here in a second. So, uh, replay FX, July 26th through the 29th, 2018, David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Welcome back to the arcade. Oh yes, thousands come one, of come console all. games, hundreds fun, fun, of pinball fun. and arcade games, and inflatable couches. Great seminars, hugs from John. High fives, if you're lucky. Lots of good merchandise, some great bands. Here you, here you can see uh, just the some of the uh, the show floor there. Pinball machines up front. There's a bunch of uh, console games in the very back. And then uh, some stand-up arcade cabinets as well. 
and it's been mentioned before, but it's worth mentioning again. This picture is using two thirds of the convention center. This year we have all three halls. We have the whole thing. Yeah, so uh, tickets are available at uh, at show clicks, or you can get them through www.replayfx.org. Uh, the pinball tournament, unfortunately, is sold out, but there are uh, tickets available for the festival itself. Um, you know, the price of admission gets you into the building, gets you free play to all the games. Uh, the only thing you have to pay for is food and drink and all that fun stuff in tournaments. But uh, you know, you can go there at 9 a.m. and play till 1 o'clock in the morning, and just. You know, just relive the the '80s or a good time in the, you know, in the gaming life. So Algar is going to be the next game here. John's going to start this up. So uh, this right. game is very interesting. Good 1980s Williams game made by Tony Kramer. Our keys to the game. Fire away. The third chamber of Algar. Shoot the captive balls on the right side to score points, and lock the balls. The left scoop will release them and be done again. You have the core letters up at top. Spell them to advance your bonus multiplier. And a little known fact, Cora is a Western Afri African lute bridged harp. Yes. I'm not sure what that has <laughs> to do with the keys of the game, but clearly and Algar. And <laughs> the skill shot. Plunge the top saucer to open up the right outlane gate. Uh, most of your balls, if it's going to drain down the right, it's going to drain down the uh, s spot where John's hand is. Or that right gate won't help you, but yeah, any insurance you can get is great. Agreed. Plus, uh, plunging for that uh, scoop up top will give you a core letter, I believe. Yes. So letters are good. So this is Algar, the brother of Gorgar. One brother was a lot more popular than the other. Ooh, yes. It almost went out. He almost lost that ball. So now, there you go. right there is one of these shots to the captive ball. So now that shot right there was worth 20,000, I believe? 30, 30, 30, 40, and 50. 30, 40, and 50. And you can reset them by shooting that blinking blue arrow on the left. So that will actually drop that captive ball to be hit again. But whenever you reset them, it does not reset the score for the next captive ball hit. So if you hit all three and then you reset them, that means that every single captive ball hit will be worth 50,000 points from then on for that ball. And that's, uh, that's really a nice way to get some really good quick points in this game. But it is dangerous. Oh. That outlane, you don't really think it goes down as often as possible, but it well, always seems to find it. You can see that that um, plastic on the far right, it, it's a little bit lower than the one right above the flipper there. So oh it yeah. to just, it'll feed that gap. I mean, you can definitely do some subtle left to right movement to try to bounce it out and possibly propel it back into play, but it's it's tough. One thing that's important like about that this right game there. is the, uh, that upper plastic, the one that says top eject. The one that says top eject is actually where the slingshot is. So on that side, you can uh, frequently nudge it and get it to pop out of that Yeah, you can uh, you get it up high enough. Yeah, you always kind of want to nudge the machine into the sling there to help activate it. This is uh, going really well. <laughs> John had a good. John got one captive ball. I was going to say, John is in the lead with one captive ball hit, but he also <laughs> hit that center lane one time. I believe if you hit that center orbit, is it a center orbit? Is that the best way to call, to call it a center orbit? Yeah. Um, I think it lights Two your times. spinner. Twice. You have to hit it twice, and if then it lights the spinner, and they alternate back and forth on a timer. On a timer? Yeah. Fred timer. You got the timer. <laughs> Come on. Some good nudging there. And just trap it up and make a easy shot for the... Oh, rejected. Oh, rejected. Oh. Rejected again. Come on, gang. Those do not count as orbits. He's shooting the river yeah. sticks there. But he's... Oh, mm -hmm. he bounced up into a captive ball hit, which gave him another 30,000 points, though. Not enough. All right, James, up to the plate. What are you aiming for here, James? Uh, keeping the ball in play for more than 10 seconds. I think the lurch strategy might work real <laughs> well on this game. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a really good oh, ah, very skill nice. shot. Give him a letter, open that gate. 
A little slow on the, uh, oh, again. <laughs> I really enjoy the sound effects for going into that. This is dangerous. Ooh, good nudge in there. A rare spinner shot. If only it was lit. It's a good spin, too. Yeah, still 100 oh. each. Ugh. No. With the 2x multiplier, and the multipliers go away after you drain your ball. Kind of makes me wonder if uh, how different you would play the game if it held your multipliers. I wonder if that's a setting you can put on. That would be really interesting. I mean, whenever I play this game for any kind of tournament, I'm, I'm aiming for those captive balls. I guess I should say in a head-to-head -head setting. Not quite hard enough for that one. Oh boy, that's what happens not good. Building up some. Ugh. Okay, bonus there. <laughs> bonus and will build up quick good. on this game. Yeah, it certainly does, and it kind of makes you uh, really want to aim for going up top to spell Cora, but. But on this game in particular, for some reason, th those spinners are not easy to hit. Holy smokes, that looks terrible. And uh, this game actually has some really... That was a nice shot, Fred. But uh, I, uh, I actually took a picture of the, the instruction card for this game. Because it actually has some things I don't really pay oh, attention oh. to. <laughs> I think he tilted. I didn't quite make it. So if you, by making Cora, it advances your X value you from 2X to 5X. <laughs> he, he gets no greed letter. Making either bank of three drop targets lights River Sticks loop shot no to way. score 2X value of the loop shot. So that's that uh, that center orbit that we've been talking about. And those values there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Yeah, it, it, those those values will build. It could be worth a oh, lot of points. On. Oh, oh, oh it, thank you, game. It came uh, on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to leave now. Okay. Nice nudging. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Making six flashing drop targets awards 10,000 to 100,000 point value. I'm not what entirely sure what uh, what the value would be or how you can uh, establish what the value is. Anyone know? Uh, I'm not sure. Lewis Bueller. Making six flashing drop targets when 100,000 lamp is lit. Lights top eject for a possible extra ball. Man, that sling fired that right into that. Right. No, that was good, smart play oh there. No. Oh, it's no. It's gone. Oh, oh. He got he, the cap the ball to get past John. Have, he, he got past have, John. He might have actually be, been better there John. not to be nudging so that as much because sometimes it'll just hop that gap. Oh, yeah. Sometimes whenever you nudge it, it... it it kind of eliminates the possibility of it coming back into play. Because that one looked like it had some legs to it. Now well, Evans, two captive balls away from the lead. Let's see if uh, Evan can make a comeback here. You would think you can hit that uh, captive oh, ball wow. coming around that River Sticks loop on the fly, but it comes off kind of weird. Yeah, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, tough it's a tough one time. It kind of rattles around a little bit. Yep. Ooh. Oh. That was a, a nice attempt. That was a flail fest. <laughs> Here comes the winner. All right. <laughs> Not very hard. Right? Yeah. Famous play field insert, Fred Cochran. That's right, baby. Fred is also <laughs> two captain balls away from victory. What's that? Two All Fred balls? needs is two, two captain, captain balls, balls to right. reclaim victory. Number one. All right, so here comes the first one. Bam. There's one. Bam. You just have to let survive this. Oh. And he, he did not survive that. I did not survive. All right. James with the victory. Do we have to play again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gore's I'll brother go. Al. I'll, 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 I'll go first here just to get off the camera. <laughs> All right. Gore guard. Uh, tr yeah, it's, um, really? it's a quote from Steve Ritchie. Come on, um, dude. Come on, guys. Let's see some points. We don't really get to see Algar uh, that often. It's it's There's a, a very large game. It's, it's kind of a got a busy play field. That was a good shot. Look at these saves. 
There's a lot to shoot at for nice sure. Nice shot. Yeah. Nice saves. Nice shot. We, we can dig We it. laugh at Aton's play style, but this is a type of game it's perfect for him. Just firing away. Yeah, just shooting. Aim for dangerous stuff. We, we talk. It. We talk about what happens when you get it in the hole at the top. Yeah. Uh, yes, it okay. awards a Cora letter, and it also lights your save out the right out lane. Because yeah, Evan got it, so he's got uh, protection so on the right there. That shot resets his captive balls, and is now every single captive ball is worth 50,000 points. 50,000 points. There's 50,000. There's 50,001. And there goes, uh, ooh. Nice. 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 50,000 twice. Oh, no, that's, oh, that's no. unfortunate. But he, look, he's already up to 261,000 points. That's better than all of us the last game. I'm going to say, let's see if that score can beat players one, three, and four all together. I'm going for extra ball. You're going, well, how do you, how do you light ball? the extra ball? Can you please tell us? Apparently the instruction card says hit six flashing uh, drop targets. Um, you would when 100,000 lamp is lit. So i got to get to 100,000 lamp. Which five, I don't you have to, to do it five yet. times. <laughs> I'm going to guess that they got it turned <laughs> off. James, there's some more of a likelihood of you doing that than the Pirates winning a World Series. Oh. Whoa. Shots fired. And it's right down the outside there. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> hey, it, it, it's nice, though, because <laughs> as bad as his score is, it's, it's, it's definitely better than my 20-30 there. I got 20-30 on my first ball there. That's because he drained out the right out lane. I guess the right in out lane. I got to drain somewhere. I drain so many times I forget where I drain. Right, so, so did Jake. Okay, I gotta go drain. Man, you got to cap myself. the ball out of yeah, it though. Yeah, I say Jake is in second place right now. As mentioned earlier, desi designer of this game was Tony Kramer. Um, he also designed Pull Sharks, Transporter, Swords of Fury, Transporter, Vero, Trizone, Hot Tip. I love Transporter. And then and on the two ends of the spectrum, on one end, Disco Fever, Whoa. on the other end, Varkon. I like to move it, move it. Some very unique games in that list you just mentioned, Pete. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I've, uh, I've played a good bit of them, I believe. I, I own the Pharaoh. I did own a pharaoh for a while, yeah. You own, you own the uh, pharaoh that I owned. Uh, we both owned the same pharaoh. We're Good old pharaoh. Come on! Ugh. I love the art package on a, a, almost all those games. Every single one of those games has just phenomenal art packages. And uh, it's not because I agree. It, it's because they're all exploratory. I mean, I want to say like they're, they're a little bit out there. It's kind of experimental in a way. Yeah, yeah. Maybe experimental is a much better word for it, but uh, they weren't afraid to go with some really off-the-wall stuff. Oh, there we go. Nice. Six, okay, what happened? I missed it. He cleared the six targets, and that lane to the right or left is now 10,000. Yep. That one? That one. <laughs> do that again. That was good. That was, that was really impressive. Uh, Don't do that mind. again. Bad feed. All right. <laughs> that was a very bad feed. It seems like that uh, whenever it kicks out of that... Uh, that shot, instead of coming up and possibly going into the pop poppers, it hits off of that rubber right by the spinner and kind of jettisons it yeah. downward. On this one, you can actually bounce it and loop it around if you get the right nudge. Lewis was doing it earlier. Did oh, can I see around. that? That you, sounds fantastic. You don't fantastic. even need to nudge it. Sometimes it just does that on its own. It, I've it never seen that happen. It depends on the mood of Al. There's your skill, skill shot. shot. Oh, again. There's, this, there's your skill shot. Again. Every so often, Al will be nice to you. Gore, not so much. Yeah. So, y you said that this was actually like uh, named after Gorgar. Was is that true? Uh, it was a running joke. Uh, um, uh, when they were talking about this game, there were two bro the Gar brothers, Al and Gore. Al Gar, Gore uh, Gar. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, is it? One spoke to They're you, and one had its production run stopped very quickly because it wasn't selling well. I mean, honestly, if if we were ever going to make a versus movie, I would want to see Gorgar versus Algar. I mean, the, <laughs> that would be a, like a scary movie to yeah, watch. I it, mean, it'd be Mr. Gar versus Mr. Gar. Well, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be solid. There's the name. The Battle of Gar. The Battle of the Gars. I think Godzilla might put up a better fight. I mean, Godzilla would beat them, yes. I think that's unfair to the Gar brothers. What about Garfield? Oh. 
<laughs> I hate Mondays. Yeah, that's going to cause a drain. <laughs> So you, you got Jake. Good I, job, I, Chris. I gotta get the I gotta get a one liner in every week. That's kind of like my my running joke in a way. All right. Ball three. I try to get a one liner in every week, and it usually goes <laughs> wrong. <laughs> it always works against Fred, though. You got that going for you. Oh, see. <laughs> Just like Algar. Gosh, Fred, that that was a great ball, man. We might have to see one more just to see if Freddie can actually Play. blip. Yeah, no, we'll, we're definitely going again. I, oh, I, I want a revenge game on this myself. I uh, feel a little bit cheated by the powers that be. I, I would play this game, but I would not do any better. Uh, You're a state champion. You would do better. I, re <laughs> I remember when we put this game in the tournament at Louisville. Do you, re you remember that, Fred? I played it in I, Louisville. I remember watching Keith Elwin walk up to this game and play it over and over. It was a Herb tournament. Yep. And he needed a score on it. He absolutely had to have a score on it. And the game just kept eating him for lunch. It, it, it didn't matter how accurate he was. He was accurate. He, but the game was just like, no, I'm going to drain now. No, I'm going to drain now. No, I'm going <laughs> to. Every single time. I think, oh, my goodness. I think wow. my favorite part about that story is after he just got destroyed by Algar. Then uh, my buddy Brian Dye walks up, shakes it out of the right in lane out lane, and puts up like 300,000 points. And he was just like, I'm done. <laughs> and like, and like, that was it. And we're just watching like, how, how did he do that? So, I mean, for people might complain about Algar, but I actually think it's an awesome game as a social experience. Which is, you know, one of those things I really believe in it for pinball. Like, it, you know, pinball as a social experience. You're not going to play for the hours. Rare outlane. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're going to play a short period of time. You're going to laugh with your friends while you're playing it. Oh, yeah. And uh, You can it, laugh with them, laugh at them. It's, it's always a good time. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. bad. Do we need to go over the keys of the game for you again, Fred? Keys of the game are hit these buttons on the side of the, the, the game to make sure the ball doesn't go out. You know, what happens when it goes down the middle? Um, I put my headset down in shame and just walk away. <laughs> That's all I do. Oh, there we go. Open gate. Skill good shot. Here. Open gate. And, oh, I'm going to say that was going to get a good pop off the bumper there. It's happening this, this game, This is a good baby. start. He's feeling good. That was bad. This is bad. Mm. Not quite hard enough. Okay, we're gonna get, a get those here. letters. Get those letters. Oh yeah. Always be spelling. <laughs> oh. it, 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 this stupid, this stupid lion is just killing me here. <laughs> lion man. <laughs> His outfit is very peculiar. You know, we might be able to throw that together for you if you wear it at replay. This is actually <laughs> the birth of Lion Man. Yeah, I mean, it really is Lion Man. Yeah, like we said, uh. Tony Kramer made Swords of Fury as well. I wonder if that's a coincidence. So I'm happy to join you guys back in the booth because I, uh, I got kicked off for being too good at Algar. <laughs> <laughs> we believe it. 300,000, you know. That's, which that's was an frustrating impressive score. Still. <laughs> nice. Jake with go. some really nice saves here. There you a go. Nice shot. <laughs> Clears the bank. That's, oh. what, that's what you have to be careful yep. about with that. With those mm. fifty thousand for a drain, though. It's almost like a nudge for up and from the right side of the game to kind of hopefully bop it left over that. Yeah, I, I tend to give it a a uh, wiggle, like left to right, because there is a lot of rubber. Right, you see how that oh. kind of bounced up like that? Like there was there was potential to get that ball potential. out of the drain. There's potential. potential. All right, John up for his potential revenge nudging. game. I'd like to mention that James went through the whole litany of emotions. <laughs> the joy of plunging. <laughs> the satisfaction of letting the ball chill. <laughs> the realization of what was about to happen. And then the agony <laughs> of defeat. Uh. 
That was a lot of sound yeah, effects. Yeah, I want to see how this spinner light works because I, I hit that center, that oh, shot. That ain't good. Could twice. be a drain. Nice nudge. I hit that Excellent. shot twice and it didn't light. So. Oh boy. Good patience there. Yeah, cap the balls. Which That's one. One. That's gone. Did you tilt? That's one. No. Is that the sound a lion makes? Yeah, but I, oh. I lit the uh, spinner. <laughs> Somehow. Through one Some shot. through one shot. That's all it takes. There's an insert there on that orbit that I'm not sure how it's turning on and off. Well, Fred gets his 2x. A want one one A want one one Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I flip to the out lane. I've learned you don't say that. A novel Fred. by Fred Cochran. <laughs> What, no. F, what F word, Jake? Fun? <laughs> Come on, Cora. There it is. There's one. Again. Again. What? Again. I believe that that was worth no points. <laughs> I do. <too. laughs> it sure didn't look like it. Was the, I, I didn't see the score move. It did, it did not move. Did anyone but see It the looked move? awesome, but it was worth nothing. But it made the audio sound card very happy. I, I thought someone was playing Apollo 13. Like It sounded <laughs> like a spaceship. I was very surprised that that didn't score any points. Algar is a smart man. You can't repeat that. Yeah. Algar is like, wait a minute. All right, James has figured out how to move the in lanes. He's doing well. That's bad. From nope. one side nope. to the other. I love whatever he drains, and he looks up like that. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Well, <laughs> it's gone. It's just gone. He's only trailing Fred by 110 points, though. Yeah, that's true. One. Nice. Oh. 100 points for each spin. All right, it, so now the left spinner is lit. Oh, now the right's lit. And now the left is lit. Oh, boy. Now the drain's lit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. You got a catch. Thank you. Now, now I got a spin. Are you going to aim for that left spinner on this shot? I'm really curious what your uh, thought process is on this I shot. I make that shot. Oh, come on, make the shot. Go for it. I'd hit the blue reset. Well, wait for it, wait for it to, to light, and then. Well, we were right about that. Yeah, no. that, that was rough. <laughs> I feel like I would have been tempted to aim for the spinner as well, but that's that's a it's a weird angle. That's a tough shot. Captain Ball says no. He's going for the center as well. All right, we're going to get it again here. Do it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we have some really, really awesome drains. I, kinda, I want like a drain Boom. montage of tonight. <laughs> Just like one second clips. Drain. 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 Like I, th I think, yeah, I think that NFL, has to happen. The NFL Red Zone Channel has every touchdown at the end of the night. We need every drain. We need every drain. Yeah. I will. I will gladly see what I can do if watching I get the opportunity. Like, it's like nice watching shot. a horrible game of Fathom. <laughs> All right. So now he's got his spinners lit. Ooh, <laughs> one spin. <laughs> one spin. Hey, but that was one lit spin, though. Pat on the back. Wait. Mm -hmm. Wait, Wait for, for it. it. Wait for it. Go. Nice. Nice. And it it still is. It wasn't uh, really uh, melted. Uh, uh, get that out. Oh. <laughs> that's what I like to see. I, I like to see the, the nudging on that little in-lane, out-lane thing. That's, that's too exciting. Too 50, though. Not too bad of a game. I think that's, that's a spinner, very good game. Uh, that spinner needs some Dan Hall love, though. It needs a little uh, spinner juice on it. Uh, James collecting the lit in lane again. He's content I'm to keep one letter up here. Specialist. <laughs> yeah, he's a specialist. <laughs> There's 30. All right. Okay. All right. He jumps ahead of player one. Oh, and, and that's, that's as it. far as he jumps. I beat Fred. <laughs> <laughs> 
You be <laughs> you be Fred. Solid day. <laughs> is this ball three? Yeah. So John's oh, got second wrapped up. He's you got Fred beat. This is ball three. Uh, we're gonna do one more two-player game just f for Evan to have a special attempt at redeeming his soul. Who's he? Well, who will he be playing against? Algar. Lurch. <laughs> oh God. I'm I'm excited. If if I win, Lurch has to shave. <laughs> what? Oh, Can gosh. we get a prediction on how that game's gonna go, Evan? With <laughs> the way my night's going, probably three house balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way of saving them either. Nice. Nice shot. Nah. Ooh. You're still good. Lion Man didn't like that very much. Lion Man. Okay. Yeah, wait I mean Algar. Come on, second crack at that spinner. Ooh. Or not. Uh. <laughs> I hit the shot. John wanted to. <laughs> I the can see in your sticks. eyes that you wanted to post transfer from the right flip. You're like, there's no post. I, I did. I wanted <laughs> to post transfer, and it wasn't happening. All right. Make it work. All right. Final game. Round one. Well, round <laughs> three. All right, Aton. What is your goal for this game? What do you want to do? What's your goal? What's my goal? Well, yes. then what is what's, your goal? Which strategy is this time? Yeah. You got to set a goal. This is important. Well, this is a uh, courtesy of Fred Cochran. The, I'm taking the, the Wayne and Garth strategy. Oh, the Garth Algar strategy. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's, that's all Fred right there. All Fred. All right. Let's see this. Fred Cochran, master of. <laughs> Ooh. That, it's that. all skill, baby. I don't know. Do you trust someone whose play was more like the church lady than? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about it? I mean, you never know exactly what you're gonna get. He's doing well from what I can see. Whoa. Nice. 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 Wow. Oh, and, and another captain ball. Party on wing. Whoa. Uh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. This Wha is uh, this is some. Competitive play right here. Oh, shut, shut up! No he way. just he just doesn't want to shave. That's what it is. it is. Oh my goodness! If if he can reset this, he's gonna he's gonna like take the top prize. I knew he already has the top prize. Not yet. Uh, uh, someone had three, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make the call. This is top prize. This, this is top prize. This election. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Over. Why not? Oh. oh. Okay, watch this bonus. Here we go. Boom. Not there yet. Lovely. Not there yet. But Lovely. Uh, I, I, All right, Bookie. Let's see like if that. you're rating champ as Mr. Houseball. I forecast. I forecast. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he plays, we have to say that. That it's going to get Today's warmer. Today's forecast, second place. Warm it up, Mr. Bookbinder. Wow. Warm it up. Come on, man. Let's see it. Crushing defeat. I haven't even plunged yet. Oh, well, this is... It's Algar. Everybody's had it been defeated by the time they plunge. Nice. Oh, nice. nice save. Okay, okay. We're going to take you seriously now. <laughs> I mean, there's many times when you're playing competitively and player one will put nope. up a monster score and... Oh, there's a gate you can open. Oh, oh. hey, you, if you, you should have paid attention. Keys? That ball that bounced was a key to the up game, man. and had potential so, to come back. So I'm starting to believe that firing away might be much better than... Um, trying to hold up your flipper for a controlled shot there because bad things seem to happen when you hold it up after you shoot that middle uh, lane shot. I've actually never made that center lane shot, so I don't know how to respond to it. it just, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, after I mean, watching you do it and seeing the, the danger that you're getting, then yeah, well, I, I agree. And that's not going to look bad. Out. Oh, what a nice save. Look at this N guy. Nice no nudge double uh, mini slap. Oh, good nudge there. Keep it in. Nice. He resets his cap to balls. Is that good? He didn't have any hits, so it didn't <laughs> really matter. Yeah, they were all reset. Well, anyway, you know, it's, it's, it's good to be, be practicing. Yeah, that's a very important shot. Always be resetting. Unfortunately, he hit the same cap to ball oh. again, which it wasn't there anymore. But he's it, over it, the 300. He got one. He's, uh, he's taking the lead. Yes. All right, Evan. Skill shot. Yeah, R. At least I knew to change the lane. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely half the struggle. The bounces are so weird on this game. 
There, that's a nice 30. Oh, no, get out of there. So if you were in Pinburg, you would still just go capture balls even after watching this here, Chris? Yes, I would. I agree. I I feel like you need to make your flips count. And on I, this game... Uh, I would agree with that. I agree with that. Um, <laughs> I think if I was in a cradle position, I might try to Bigger. shoot the the center orbit to into a combo into a captive ball because the captive ball is something you might be able to hit as an on-the-fly shot. Ooh, I've tried nice. backhanding the captive balls from the right flipper on this. Ooh, I don't know if it works. I don't right. think it I've works. I've tried it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it works either. <laughs> but whatever we can takes, see. Whatever it takes to get that captive ball hit. Yeah, the captive balls are huge. And you might, you might play against someone that's thinking, hey, I'll go shoot the center orbit, get the river sticks, and then drain like that. Oh, nice. No, nice no, nudge. not like that. Not like that. Magic just happened. Oh, there was some there's more magic. A, there's a hot 30. I don't know, Evan. It's not looking pretty for all you. All right, all right. That's the high score cur that currently of the evening. The high. That, that one's for Dream Girl. Not the high during our warm-ups, <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's Papa TV live. Things happen you live. You got to do it live. And you got to do it live. That's right. Aton feels no pressure under the camera. All, All right, right, Evan. Nothing. Not even an. The loser has to shave. <laughs> well, my wife will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. right there, he held it up. Nice power. Oh, Ooh. I think. He, he, okay, I don't get it stopped. So okay, we get a new air. So the spinner is lit. Will he aim for it? Yes. No. Oh, oh that, was terrible. that might have been a good miss. That was a better miss than what we've seen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's up. It's wild. It's out of control. It's out of control. It's it's, it's, it, oh, nice it's in control. Bounce over. Okay, Very so nice. now Very he's nice. a shot at either a captive ball or a slit spinner. I think he was going for the spinner. Oh, oh he gets a reset. Reset, reset, reset the captive all balls. Three nice. captive balls, 40,000 each. Stop it. There we go. He just is. Nice, nice slap save. Danger. Look out. Bounce keep it off. It, keep working it. Yeah. 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 There it is. It's not over. Okay. All right, what am I doing? Spinner. You need to make 100,000 points. Two captive balls will win it. Two captive balls with a win. Can he make it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, that no, was no. Two captive balls still for the win. Look out. Okay, that's good. Uh. Settle down. Ooh, good. Okay, very nice. Okay, oh, that's one. One, one captive he ball for the, the win. Or he could go for the spinner, ball. too. I think he could do this with a good spinner shot. Or he John misses. Rebel, time out here. I, nay, nothing wrong with that, man. If you were Josh Sharp, you'd do take you a glass water? of water. Whenever I was playing in that game, Aton's, against Zach Sharp. Do you see the stress on Aton's face right now? Aton, Look, he, he's, 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 about to, he's about to shave. He knows spinner? it's coming. We'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Path of Play, Sunny. Replay FX. Sunny with a no chance of redemption. That. That's right. Beautiful. Okay. Now he's got an insurance policy on the left. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. yes. It's good. <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> oh, man. I think he's a little excited. I now, think he is, too. Now I mean, reset them. Oh, he's, he's got a. Keep playing. Keep playing. He, he nailed this out, man. This is awesome. No, oh, no, but still. the two highest scores of the evening scored in the final moments of our waning broadcast. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, nice. So good play, gentlemen. Play. Good play. Oh, well, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Um, we're, we have a great fun doing this, and we look forward to seeing you on the not next Papa TV live broadcast. I'm John Replocal. I'm here with uh, CDs. Chris Stevens. Chris Stevens. Uh, Pete Hendricks. Thanks for watching. The two state championships. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember to check out the information for Replay FX and for Path of Play. Happy flipping.